interface issues keeping a track of all your quotations, sales order and invoices, WayCRP's B2B sales module can help you keep a track of all of that. So let's see how you can do that. So before this video, we just learned that how you can create an estimate. But you can also create any kind of invoices for B2B directly itself without creating any kind of quotations or estimate. So for that, you would just have to click on sales, go to invoice, click on create new. Over here, you would have to mention your customer details. So again, if you've mentioned your customer details in the contact module itself, you can search them by the name or by the mobile number. If not, you can also add the customer on the spot with this plus sign. Once you've also uh, input your customer details, you can mention the payment terms, which is the due date, and you can also set a payment reminder so that a notification will go to the customer on the date of payment. Once you've mentioned all these details, you would have to mention the product details that you're creating an invoice for. So you can mention the product details by the item code or barcode or by their product name. Over here, you can mention the quantity that you want to create the invoice for. And the available quantity that is showing over here is the quantity that is available in the ERP. You can also mention any kind of discounts you're giving in rupees or in percentage. And also you can change the pricing on the spot for the same. You can also add any kind of additional charges on the spot itself. For example, packaging charge, transportation charge, or any kind of charges that you want to create on the spot itself. Once you've mentioned all these details, you can either click on save if the payment is not received by the customer or you can click on save and payment if the payment has been received from the customer. Once you click on save, the invoice directly goes to the customer's WhatsApp and also if you've registered the email ID of the customer, the mail will also go to the customer's email ID as well. You can also create a bill of the same of the invoice that you've created for the customer from here in the PDF option. Let's say that the quantity that you've sold to the customer or the products that you've sold to the customer has some kind of defect in it and the customer is returning back the products to you. So for that, you can also create a credit note option for the customer itself. So when the customer comes to your store next time, they can redeem that much amount in the next purchase. So for that, you have to go to Sales, Credit Note, click on Create New. Over here, you have to mention the customer's name for whom you are going to create the credit note. So you can mention the customer's name again by their phone number or by their name. And over here, you will get the option to select from what sales you want to create the credit note for. So mention the last purchase and click on Display All Items. So automatically, you'll be able to see the quantity that you had sold to the customer last time. So out of 10 quantity, if I want to return 5, I'll just mention that much quantity over here. And in my net amount, accordingly, that much amount will be shown over here. So the purpose of creating credit notice that once the customer returns back to my store the next time, they can redeem their existing amount back into the next purchase. So we can see that how we can do that. Go to your sales, go to invoices. If any of the invoices for which they haven't made the payment for is due, you can click on that particular bill. Click on the three dots and click on receive payment. You can select cash or bank accordingly as per your convenience. And over here, you can automatically see that you've got the option for redeem the credit note. You can click on that and it will show the credit note that you've created for that customer. So in this bill, you can see that although the total amount was this much, now the amount that has been redeemed from that total bill is this. And the total amount that the customer has to pay is already listed down in the net amount. You can save this bill and automatically a notification to the customer's WhatsApp will be sent from the ERP itself. You can also take a print of the scene from the ERP as well. So that's how you can create your invoices and also redeem the credit. 
for any further queries, you can contact us on the contact mentioned in the description box and let us know what more videos you want to see from VZRP. And don't forget to click on like, share and subscribe.